Good morning and welcome to the annual Dooley UK conference. Oh my goodness, it's so lovely to see so many beautiful faces. I hope you have a really lovely day. Just having such a great time. Uh, it's lovely to be surrounded by doulas. It's a kind of unique environment when you get loads of doulas together. And it's always a chance to learn more from people with loads of different backgrounds. So thumbs up Dooley UK. Buckle up girls, buckle up. Explain to me why a turkey baster is any different from a penis, because I don't see. In India, in some areas apparently, new mothers are given a full body massage every day. Oh, can you imagine? It's been brilliant so far, it's been really fab. I've met so many kind of people that I've not met before, and then people who I've been kind of linking up online, and it's really nice to actually see them on the flesh, like they're real people. <laughs> the room is full of wonderful people, friends, ex-trainees, doulas I've known for years and new friends that I'm making. It's a fantastic day. I've really loved uh, learning a lot about uh, different perspectives, um, particularly the birthright talk. I found that really interesting. The woman bears responsibility for her choices. If she makes a choice, she must live with it. It's on the woman's shoulders. And that's to treat women as adults. And I've actually really loved doing the workshops, which is a new addition, it seems, this year, which I've really enjoyed. I did the tongue tie workshop with Indira and um, got lots of information. What do we know? We know that very long feeds, more than 45 minutes, it's not good. Less than five minutes, it's not good. The baby couldn't have transferred enough milk. It might, but you need to do a bit more clinical and detective work for these babies. We have been getting really clear on um, our big why as people, as doulas, why we do what we do and starting our marketing from there rather than the what or the how of what we do. Um, we've also been exploring who is our ideal client, but that's not a bad thing to have a desire to work with certain people and possibly not others. Sometimes we think that we are all in the same Pot. We have very different perceptions of the same world that we all live in. What are the things that we know and that we believe to be true for us in our lives? How does that help enhance the lives that we're touching so briefly? So briefly. Today is all about talking about doulaing, the spice of life. How we all work together as doulas, how there's a different doula for every woman the society that we live in, the diversity of the world that we live in, and you know, just stepping out of our own cultural safeties and norms. <laughs> what I'm going to ask you to just invite you to do first of all is to thread the amber beads. And while we're threading, can anyone share any experiences or any insights to the early, early phases of labour? I've done two back-to-back -back workshops and they've gone really, really successfully. Everyone's taken a lot from it and I have learned a lot because when we do the workshops we share a lot of knowledge. So it's been a really lovely open sharing day today. It's been fantastic um, meeting all the other exhibitors and it's been really busy, really lovely to meet so many people so many passionate people as well. I had a good chat with other exhibitors which is great because it's always nice to make good contacts and a colleague of mine has been downstairs for one of the workshops which she said was fantastic. I want to live in a world where women are supported to make their own decisions that they know their rights, that they know that they have the right kinds of information accessible to them. And that's what I love about dealers, it's like they're already doing enough but they have to do more. For it's time to reflect, to collect what we know, to connect up the dots and redirect so women have a voice and they're told what is true about how we can birth, about what they can do to support themselves and make their own choices, protecting their dignity, respecting their voices. Woo!